What is good, everybody, and welcome back to Red Sea Radio. My name is Corbin, and before I get into anything today, I wanted to take a second and thank all of you. We officially hit 100 total subscribers on this channel yesterday, and it means a whole lot to me that you guys want to listen to me talk about my favorite thing in the world, the Boston Red Sox. Let's keep this thing growing. If you have not yet subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, hit that like button. Anyways, it is officially day eight of MLB lockout, and there is no news because of it. However, that doesn't mean there isn't anything to talk about. With all of these trades and free agent signings going on, there are a couple people that after the 2021 season, we had a lot of question marks about that really haven't been answered or even looked at so far. And I wanna talk about one of those guys today. So thank you very much again for 100 subscribers. Thank you for clicking on this video. Let's get into it. So there are a couple guys that we could talk about here, right? That may or may not end up on the team in 2022 could be trade pieces could be let go all of that that did have some effect on the 2021 red sox so i'm thinking about making this a series where i go over one of those guys once every week once every two weeks at least until the lockout is up today i want to talk about bobby dahlbeck who in 2021 hit for 240 average had 25 home runs 21 doubles five triples and 78 RBIs. Now for the first half of the season, it was pretty tough average wise. He definitely still hit for power. But after that trade deadline, after we signed Schwarber, it seemed like, and rumors started coming out that maybe Schwarber's coming for Bobby's job. Bobby turned on the gas. He was August player of the month. And defensively, he was a relatively decent first baseman. I There were some times where he had some tough plays, but all in all, I have nothing to really complain about with his defense. The question becomes is how does he fit into this 2022 Red Sox? There are a couple different scenarios in my opinion that I could see Bobby ended up being a trade piece or being sent down to the minors for a little bit then becoming a trade piece. So we're going to go over all of that right now. Personally, I really like Bobby and I'd love to see him stay on the Red Sox. Um, I know he's a fan favorite at the wild card game. The only player that got the loudest chance was Bobby. His name was being rung out throughout the stadium. Um, and he didn't do well, but he's still a fan favorite. Um, and honestly, I think he does have the potential to be a good to very good first baseman. He did pretty decent last year. And the second half of the year really showed what he has the capability of doing. Um, so this first scenario here is what I'm going to call the perfect scenario. It is probably the most unrealistic scenario, but it's the one that I want to see happen. So we get past this lockout, the Red Sox sign Schwarber, maybe they get a second baseman, and Tristan Cassis is not ready to come up yet. Bobby still has a job for the time being, so for the first couple of months of the season, Bobby's our first baseman. This is the year of Bobby Dahlbeck. In 2022, Bobby explodes, has a monster year, maybe even elected onto the all-star team, just crazy numbers. Then. In two years from now, we bring up Tristan, we throw Bobby in left field. Shout out section 10 for this one. I can't claim it myself, but it's not a bad idea. The dude's super athletic. We're losing a left fielder in 2024 because Schwarber's gonna take over Martinez at DH. So why not stick Bobby there? He's athletic enough. He might be able to get out there and do some outfield. I don't know. But it would be interesting to see and that is my ideal scenario because i do like bobby dahlbeck so much probably not the most realistic one though the next scenario is more likely than the last but definitely not the most realistic um, and that is that we get suzuki and we get schwarber now we have two people in one position and schwarber already having played first base comes and takes over bobby's position we trade bobby away before the season even starts to get a closing pitcher or a number three pitcher um, and then have Tristan sort of wait around until Schwarber's ready to take over DH. The third and final scenario here and what I think is the most realistic option for Bobby Dahlbeck is that we are going to wait until the trade deadline. We're either going to pick up Schwarber or Suzuki in this offseason. Bobby's going to stay at his position, but based on past experiences with Bloom. This seems the most realistic. We wait it out, 
see how Bobby does during the year. And if he does really well and they take that chance, they get to trade him. And we get to trade him for either a starting pitcher or a closer because right now we don't know what's going to be the worst position. So my realistic scenario for Bobby in 2022 is he makes the starting lineup for the first couple of months of the season. Then by the trade deadline, we ship him out, put Tristan at first, he takes over, and we get a, either a closing pitcher or a number three pitcher. Let me know what you guys think down below. Is Bobby going to be on the Red Sox for a long time? Is he going to get traded even before the season starts? Or are we going to wait to the trade deadline to assess our needs to see how he's doing, see what we can get for him? Either way, let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Again, thank you so, so much for 100 subscribers. It means a whole lot to me. Um, if you are not subscribed yet and you want to help out this channel, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Um, and thank you very much for clicking on this video. I will see you in the next one.